Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gamestar TV. Welcome to VEC Online League of Legends. Brought to you live from studios in Christchurch and Brisbane. This is Crisis, and I'm joined by EJ. Good evening, EJ. Good evening, Crisis. Good evening, listeners and viewers in the future who will be listening, traveling back in time to witness this cast. Yeah, hope you guys are hitting up the VODs and uh, hitting that like and favorite buttons and all of those social media things that the kids do these days, EJ. The, sub the subscribe one would be good. Yeah, subscribe is excellent. We're doing a major subscriber drive on our YouTube channel at the moment, getting the subscribers up there and making sure that you know about all of the glorious League of Legends, well, eSports content, not yep. just League of Legends, League no, of Legends no, no, and CSGO no. at the moment, and a bit of Rocket, Rocket League. League thrown in at the yep. same time. Well, tonight's match... We've got the Raccoon Kings up tonight. Yeah, we've got the Coon Kings versus the Poros in the VEC Online League of Legends tournament. VEC, of course, getting played out of Wellington, the Victoria University in Wellington. So let's head on over into Champ Select because that's exactly where the Coon Kings are and the Poro. So Coon Kings on the left-hand side, EJ, the blue team, the Big Wang Theory, the Prophet, Luke, Poon, and I, Tiberius. And on the right-hand side, the Poros are Batterskull, King of Poros, Hillbilly, Augustus Prime, and Prosaurus Rex. Now, we cast both of these teams last week, so we've seen them in action prior to tonight. Yeah, in fact, we have a MVP player uh, on oh, yeah, big Luke. Star, big Remember, time. Luke was oh. the MVP. Yeah. Sent him his MVP card last yep. week with his $10 RP reward. So I'm hoping, I, I said he needs to take a photo and send it. Post it up on Facebook.com. If you post it up on our Star. Facebook, you go in a, uh, another drawer. Yeah, to win or like more. another 50 bucks or something like that. It's just yeah. crazy. Crazy. We're just throwing RP around at the moment. And we're looking so at shout out to the uh, people also chatting in Twitch chat tonight and joining in the cast and the commentary and the chat. Yeah. Shout out to you. Big shout out Give to Skarsden, who's a Poros fan, and Hamco representing the Coon Kings. Ooh. So, EJ, uh, we're looking at extending the MVP program to CSGO as well. We are indeed. Yep. Yeah. So, if you play CSGO or have mates who play CSGO and you want your matches casted by GameStar, and you make a request, uh, just, well, we got we got to figure out how to get our request working properly. But hit up one of the dudes from GameStar or the at GameStar Twitter and let us know about the game. And who knows, we might be putting up a 10 buck Steam card for uh, an MVP in your match. That's buy CSGO. Some skins. Yeah, buy some skins for your guns or something like that. Yeah, make them look sexy. Yeah, that's the one. I'm talking Hamco sexy, dude. That's how sexy the skins will look. <laughs> that is over the top. OTT. All right, so let's just have a quick look at how the picks and bans are going. So last week, we had some weird picks going on from the Coon Kings. Remember, we didn't have... Yeah, yeah but it worked. We had Poon play Fiora, and we bagged the shit out of him pre-match, and then he owned it up. Yeah, it was amazing. So he, he said he might actually be bringing it out again, so we'll see. So very, very difficult to ban against the Coon Kings at the moment because they are picking these weird picks in, uh, in, in general. So, what have the Poros banned? Victor, Thresh, and Shen. And really, those are very, very safe bands at the moment. All top picks um, in any, uh, any way that you look at it, EJ. Uh, Victor, very, very strong in the mid. Thresh, one of the best um, supports at the moment. And Shen has really made a big comeback in the top lane, split pushing and well, really Well, talking top about. lane, I'm hearing uh, from the Twitch chat, Corn Wizard, he's put the call out that uh, Braum will be top lane in it. And that's going to be the new meta for tonight from the Biaga. Uh, wow. The Kings. Okay, so and that's we'll quite Korn interesting. Corn Wizard's on the inside scoop. Maybe he played them in an earlier scrim in a warm-up match. And got like he's wrecked and ripped apart by Braum in the top screen, top lane or whatever, and he's thinking, oh, better put the hot tip out there on these dudes. So that's Luke playing that at this stage. Well, Luke's picked him, but Luke is the mid laner, so probably at this stage is going to be the Lulu in the mid lane, is my guess. Uh, if if Poon locks in the Lulu. Meanwhile, the bands for the Coon Kings are Annie, oh, Malphite, oh, and Nelson's Malachi. Nelson's claiming the credit for the new meta, by the way, in our Twitch chat. Who's that? Big claim. Nelson. He's saying, oh, I claim that. That's all me. I started that. Well, Brought I'm looking mate. at the Twitch chat, and he reckons he's a noob. <laughs> oh. Well, Are we looking at go. different Twitch chat? 
No, no, no. Right further up at the top, he says, I am a noob. I'm a noob. Nelson W. Oh, W-D, yes, that's like me board. when I just say I'm unskilled. But you know what? You know what? He's a, Out he's of the mouths of babes, they, they say, you know? And so it might just, well, it might just be that he may be a noob, but he stumbled onto greatness. Oh, yeah, possibly. Even a broken clock is right twice yeah. a day. He was shoving that fork in the PowerPoint and had a bloody bright spark. Hey, Skarsden is uh, looking for a manager, so I'm not really sure what team he represents. Possibly the Poros looking for a manager. So if you're keen to get into esports management, you want to be the boss, you need to hit up Skarsden. And, uh, well, I'm not really put, sure what a manager is. pads on first. What a ma- yeah, I was going to say, what are the duties of a manager? Fluffing the team just before their games? Keeping the psychology going. Something like that. Must be. So Luke in the end has settled on Riven for the mid lane. So that's a outside of meta pick uh, for the mid lane. But Poon this time deciding to go with the Jinx and stick to standard meta down in the bottom lane. I Tiberius as the brawn is going to be in bottom lane instead. And Big Wang Theory has picked up the Lulu for the top lane. Elise making a major comeback after her recent buffs in the jungle. So the Prophet will hopefully be giving us a masterclass, EJ, in how to play Elise. Well, I think he played Elise last week in the jungle, didn't he? I know, and I was a total noob and said, why are people picking Elise? She's not top yeah. tier. Meanwhile, yeah, even myself, I read that. I read up on the metas before the game last week, and I was thinking, oh, I'm pretty sure I read Elise is like one new super powerful jungle. You should have corrected me then, man. You know. Yeah, I could have, but then I thought maybe the website I was reading was like some new website written by, you know, Hamco or something. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Nelson DW wants to have a lanyard, and I'm sure that what he wants is a retractable lanyard, because those are the best. What's that? So you, like, choke yourself? Well, it's the ones where you can, you know, stretch out the, the bit in the lanyard and then let it go, oh, and you're right. tag. Right. Flies back, yeah. I was going all auto erotica on you there, dude. I was thinking, oh, okay, retractable lanyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So let's have a look at what the red team have picked up, the Poros. And we've got Batterskull on Spin Twin Garen. So don't know how well Garen's going to be doing against Big Wang Theory's Lulu. I think he's going to come off second best, though. Oh, so no, he's going to do some spinning. Gar- Garen's in the making for a little bit yes, of... Yes, he sure is, Hamco. You're safe, safe for the next one. Yes, but I am also casting. So Hamco, oh, you're not that safe. I hope, hope that he doesn't like. Uh, I hope that he's he was you know being not anti me because he's going to get me two times in a row tonight. King of Poros in the Skana. We've seen a bit of a comeback of Skana yep. just recently yep. as well. So no surprises there. Hillbilly with the Lysandra versus a Riven. So might have a little bit of an opportunity to bully Riven. Uh, until Riven gets her little approach dashes, her gap closes going, um, and then, well, Hillbilly might have a difficult time of things. But ranged versus melee, you'd almost think that Hillbilly's going to have uh, a little bit of an advantage over Luke, but, well, Luke was the MVP last week, so he may well be able to dominate nevertheless. Wouldn't put a past Hillbilly, though, dude. Wouldn't put a past him. Yeah, yeah, Hillbilly had a good game last week, so... Augustus Prime, uh, as the Vayne combo in combination with Janna on, uh, well, Prosaurus Rex on the Janna. Yeah, so, love a bit of Janna action. Yeah, and Vayne, as we know, is a late game champion, really needs to be nursemated through the opening phases, the laning phase, and even the mid game until she gets to the And that's nursemated late. against Poon. Yeah. And tough call, tough call. And the thing is, is that Poon's a pretty good player, got to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's going to have range on Vayne. If the international we... was in League of Legends, Poon would be winning a million dollars. Oh, he, a couple of million. Wasn't the, no, like, the couple... prize pool like 12 million or something? 16. 16 million. Now, that doesn't get divided like solely between... No, the no, no, no. Team, That's right? between the 10 teams who qualified. Oh, the te- all 10 of them. Yeah. But the top teams, they get a million bucks each. Uh, they'd get a lot of money. Isn't that Who's going to win the skin battle, though, in this game tonight? So we got two across the top. Blood Moon Elise, I have not seen that before. She is showing Sexy. a lot of side boob. Ah, uh, side boob's a winner. And, uh, Jinx has no side boob. Well, there's boob, two skins uh, down at the bottom as well. So we've got Bloodstone, Lysandra, and Heartseeker Vayne versus Blood Moon Elise and Dragon Trainer Lulu. So I don't know. I think this is a neck-on-neck tie. All right, I'll see Elise and Vayne go neck-on-neck. That's fine. <laughs> Heartseeker Vane 
she's going to run around fighting. Oh no, it's not. It's not Heartseeker Vane. That's. Um, I was thinking of Misfortune. Misfortune runs around fighting hearts. Ah. There yeah. You go. Yeah. Well, after that thought. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't anticipate. At least, we, at least we left Jana right out of it. Yes, yes. And standard skin Jana, standard skin Garen. Uh, I really think that I'm going to call this game right now for uh, the Coon Kings. I just think that they the the only question mark is over how Riven's going to do in the mid lane. But for me, in every other matchup, I'm going to pick. Um, I'm going to pick the Coon Kings. I, I think that Poon's going to dominate um, Heartseeker Vane, Augustus Prime on the Vane there. Not because Augustus Prime is a bad player, but because Jinx versus Vane in the early stages um, is going to... It's got to favor Jinx, surely. See, I think they're going to play back towards their tower, and Skarna's going to come down out of the jungle and give Poon in the back door in like he's never had before. Mm. That's my call. Yeah, That's going to be the play of the day. Just dwelling on the thought there for a And then they'll bit. roll forward, take that tower. By the time Poon and his boys recover, they'll probably have lost two or three towers. Well, we've got uh, either way this game could go. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll have to see how it goes. A lot of skin getting shown all over the stage, but whether players are going to be distracted or not, I doubt it. What is taking so long to load this? Batter Skull, oh my God. Uh, apparently Garen is having trouble. With yeah. Batter yeah. Skull is loading up on a toaster. <laughs> he's on Australia's NBA. Maybe, dude. maybe he's well. using Microsoft Azure, which is their new cloud service, their cloud desktop. Oh, right. Yeah, he's installed. Let's hope not. He's installed his League of Legends on a cloud based server <laughs> and is wondering why it's <laughs> running too slowly. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that's unusual. Luke, Luke has the ribbon going with a super aggressive loadout in terms of his summoner skills. Yep. Uh, got the standard flash. Everybody with flash. Going to be igniting um, some people. But Bow. yeah, he has the ignite there. So what I see happening if there's ever a team fight is Riven dashing forward, getting protected by Braum and a shield from Big Wang Theory, the Lulu, and trying to just absolutely flatten people. Murder the Get other Get in their team. faces. Murder their faces. That's That's the one. So if you're wondering who the noobs are, ladies and gentlemen, it is Crisis and EJ. We're from GameStar. This is the VEC Online League of Legends tournament. Smart dudes playing tonight, dude. We'll is be it? here every Sunday night, EJ. Every Sunday night until you can find someone who knows what they're doing about the game. Well, Poon is Woo. going to be casting after this game. So at least we'll, you know, we'll have a little bit of... But I know Hamco would have it no other way, dude, than having me on the air calling one of his games. He is your fan. He is. So straight into a pause, and that'll be because of uh, Batterskull, I'm pretty sure. Who was loading super, super slowly. Yep. So while you're waiting for the game to start, open up another tab on your browser. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash Gamestar Media. Or just do a search on YouTube for Gamestar TV. One word, no spaces. And hit the subscribe button. And you should have a Twitter account because, you know, that's what everyone's using these days. Head over to Twitter and do a search for at GameStar and hit that follow button. And the other thing that you can do is head over to Facebook.com and give us a like. Did I leave anything out, EJ? Uh, your mum's phone number? <laughs> she doesn't like gamers. Oh, she's sorry. right out of luck. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Corn Wizard was keen. So All we're right. just waiting for the unpause here. And looks like we're good to go. Everyone's shopping, buying up big. And we're in. So let's see what opening gambits these two teams choose to take. As they dash off onto the fields of justice. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just joined us to GameStar TV2. Oh, Hamco wants to have mod. To so, Hamco, you're going to be dealing with the bots in the channel, is all I'm going to say. Am I not logged in? Why can't I mod this person? I have no idea. 
So and Lucas caught the uh, Lissandra. Super aggressive here, start up. Hillbilly's copping it. Oh, Lashes go out, one more hit. Hillbilly goes down. That's an early opening kill. Wow, super aggressive. Yeah, nicely done. So I Tiberius, I think, was the one who picked up. Did, did he pick up the kill? Who got the kill? Uh, big no, Wang no, no. Theory. Big Wang Theory. So he's going to head on back and buy straight away. Head back into the lane with double the power that he would have normally started off. So double Doran's ring there. Yeah. And they'll be Garen, pleased with Garen that. is wearing the brown pants tonight for sure. Uh -oh. You're worried about his uh, going up against him in the top lane before. Now with the early kill, it's going to be um, even tougher for Batterskull. I do not know why I cannot give Minions anybody mod. Spawned. And Batterskull's going to get his skull batted. All right, just waiting for the um, spawns to occur. The oh, blue... I'm logged in as GameStar TV3. That's why. <laughs> oh, there you go. That could explain it. Hello, GameStar TV3 in our Twitch chat. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly log out. Now, we've got a bit of invasion again. Luke's over the other side, warding it up, which is nice of him. He's going to come around. He's going to go for a second kill on Hillbilly. No, just pulling back. Thought he's going to go for some early niggle. Just make Hillbilly think twice about it. In fact, Hillbilly goes for some early niggle. Oh, we've lost someone. Batterskull. See, Lulu getting that second Doran's. It just made him go, oh, shit. Well, he had problems loading up originally, so maybe he's going to be plagued all night with these things. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm trying says, to log Darren in. Darren realizes he had no mana. He's out of here. <laughs> he forgot to buy mana in the shop. Oh, there we go. Just busy logging in. And I should be in in just a moment, and then I can hand out the mods. The Van Hammer. Not actually Ham banning Hamco anybody. Hamco loves a ban hammer. Oh, he does. Uh, Hamco, use ban responsibly, shall we say? Yeah. No shenanigans. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And congratulations, you're modded, Hamco. Well done. Yay. Welcome in. So as a mod, Hamco, just to reflect on what your duties are, they are to ban bots and... You need to spam out the little things that remind people to tip. And what's the other thing that mods do? Who's he tipping? <laughs> GameStar. Ah, oh, get some. Yeah, I thought I had to go. take my pants off then. I was a bit worried. <laughs> Still waiting for uh, Batterskull to join back to the game. Nelson's put out the early call for him to be the MVP as Garen. It could happen. It could happen. Um, stranger things have happened in the yeah, world you of, never know. of Legends. Yeah, totally. There, there must be a reason why Niba, Gamestar's Niba, likes to play Garen. Because he likes to spin. Nothing to do with how easy the champion is to play. No, no, no. No, no. his high skill applied to an easy champion is absolutely Well, I dominant. play him and I fail at him. What's that say? Well, there you go. <laughs> Can't be that easy. <laughs> Gotta have some skill. I've got to get back in and get my little sand dude going. Azia. I like that guy. Now, that is a high skill champion. Is it? Oh, I love him. You cast your little things and then you pull them back and they stab the shit out of people and you go, ah! And you know you can, like, you can teleport to them. It's not oh, really totally. teleporting. Like flash. And then stabby, them. stabby, stabby and a bit more stabby. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's nice. the one. That's the yeah. one. Stick up a sand wall. Yeah, sand walls are good. Yep. Bash people into other walls, trap them there. <laughs> yep. Murder their faces. That's the way. Push on to 30 one day. So Hillbilly at the moment sacrificed up first blood. Didn't lose any XP as a result, but would have been put behind a little bit because Luke would have picked up some XP as a result of being involved in that kill. Didn't actually get the kill, but would have gotten an assist and a little bit of an assist gold. And here we go. Hamco's going to use his ban, ban hammer. Can see it coming. There you go. Nice. You know what we need to do is we need to get all the people who've mod for us and we need to keep them in a list like in a spreadsheet, like a Hall of Fame, a Moderator's Hall of Fame. And yep. at the end of the season... Give that Best Moderator Award. Yeah, something like that. Whoever's quickest to ban, $10 RP card. Something like that. I was thinking, you know, more in the lines of like a little trophy. Oh, that'd be even better. Yeah, send them a trophy, Best Mod. Uh, Lord whatever. Jumpy, we have paused the game because uh, Battle Dude has not come back. 
Battle Skull. Battle Skull. He is out of here as Garen. Shout out to Lord Jumpy for joining us. Oh, That's totally. Awesome. What a champion. And Hamco seems to not know how to do Kappa, so I'm just going to demonstrate. That's how you do it. What's a Kappa? <laughs> Kappa, if you type K-A-P-P-A -P -P -A in Twitch chat, you get that little face. Oh, and who is he? Obviously, he's Kappa. He's but... the Kappa dude. I don't know who he actually is. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to your Kappa. <laughs> oh my word, two minutes in and we've already had two uh, two actual pauses. Oh, there you go. has got the kappa going. <laughs> of course, the pro tip is that the K has got to be capitals. Capital K. For kappa. Look, yes. He's loading in, can't be too far away. Oh, is he? How do you know he's loading in? Because I'm reading that in the chat. Oh, is it in the chat? Hamco, what team are you actually in? Is what I would like to know. Uh, HKC or something? Oh, is he in HKC? Yeah. I don't remember a Hamco from that. Oh, from that team. maybe from last week. Name whore. Yeah, maybe his maybe his IGN is different to his Twitch name. Yeah, it's very confusing. Very confusing. Then again, I'm uh, I'm Crisis, and my Twitch username that I'm logged in as at the moment is Gamestar TV two. Very confusing. And pause. Oh, games back underway. Woo! -hoo! So and, we're right uh, back. Just come back in the mid lane. Luke taking a bit of damage. Checking down bottom. Not much happening down bottom though, Crisis. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, we. What, what they're doing is they're gonna rush for their level twos, and then as soon as the level two goes down, we'll see. Uh, whoever gets level 2 first, trying to get a bit of uh, domination going and possibly get an engage in. But oh, Garen's going in hard. Oh, fails with the swing. Yeah, so Garen's advantage, of course, is his passive lets him heal up if he's out of damage. That's why he likes to go and hide in the brush. Uh, which everybody should know at this stage. And, uh, well, he's just been super cautious at the moment by taking down his pots as well. In goes right, Luke so onto Hillbilly, he gets the stun down and gives him a knock. He doesn't have level 6 though, in fact he only has level 2. He's taken quite a lot of damage himself. Elise is coming out of the river at him. And well, we'll see if uh, Elise is actually able to... He doesn't have flash, so there comes the flash, guaranteeing the kill. Yeah, King of and in comes Luke. For a return kill. No such luck. Yeah, he was just a moment too late. Garen's going to go down in surely. A world Wow, so across the board we've got everybody going down into very, very low HP, but just the one kill in the mid lane, and that was Hillbilly, um, from some excellent trading from Luke early on, and then a great follow-up gank from the Elise. So Elise will be quite pleased to be picking up an assist there. Alright, still a lot of pressure in the bottom lane, and uh, Garen has rejoined the top, ports into his tower. Stop Big Wang Theory pushing through any further. Going to rack up a few little minion kills here. Get some CS going. So meanwhile, the bottom lane, Poon and I Tiberius, they've pushed their lane all the way up and are heading back to buy, trying to just create an early advantage um, out of getting uh, getting their items early. So not really fantastic items that you can buy at this early stage of the game because you haven't really had much time to... Uh, bank much gold so just a double Doran's blade uh, from oh hillbilly takes another hit pulls out though safely yeah but Luke coming off really second best out of that trade yeah so yeah Lots he's having to life. yeah just swallow down his pots uh, just to keep himself alive now is profit going to try a bit of backdoor action on batter skull here in the top well in he comes he kind of shows himself and then decides actually no the time is not right he's sticking around now just waiting for Batterskull to now engage with the Big Wang Theory, and he d has indeed gets uh, gets the stun in oh! and captures him. Oh, 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 oh. Gang bang! Judgment is not enough, so he goes down. Nicely done. He does. Nice play. You were right though. Balked a few times, waited till uh, Big Wang Theory committed, and then moved in for the kill. Oh, another engage in the mid lane. Luke takes down Hillbilly, but Hillbilly picks up a reply kill out of the turrets. 
Oh, and just as I predicted, the King of Poros coming out of the uh, river. Gonna take out Poon and his uh, Tiberius teammate. Tiberius goes down. Poon's doing all the best he can to try and escape. He's gonna get a Scorpion Claw in the ass for his trouble, though. Well, I'm not really sure what he's doing at the moment. Swallows a pot and then runs up into the tower. As all of a sudden, at the five minutes, what, five and a half minute mark, we've got four kills to three. And that's out of that double kill down in the bottom lane. And Hillbilly picking up the return kill on Luke in the mid lane underneath his turret. So Nice things... play by King of Poros, though. Early dive down yeah. into the bottom lane. Picked up a nice kill with the smite, which is something that junglers are revealing in these days with the, the changes a few months ago to smite. Yep. Several months ago. It's not recent. No, no. Don't want to pretend. Even I knew about that one. Yeah, yeah. So things kind of neck and neck at the moment. Just 200 gold the uh, difference between these two teams. And of course with that first blood that went very early on to the Coon Kings, they were actually 400 Batis in the lead. moving forward. Spins his way out of trouble. Sorry, Crisis, go for it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Pretty much finished what I'd said. Yeah. Oh, good. There you go. So players just moving back into position here. We are 6 minutes and 36 seconds down in this match. 4-3 is the scoreline, as Christ has said. No towers down yet. Very close score differential. And Batiscal goes down in the top to Big Wang Theory again. Well, so just missed uh, that. I'm going to hit nice the backspace. Nice little lead up there now. I just hit the backspace once so that we could uh, catch that engage. There you go. The skull goes on to... The slow goes down onto Batiscal. And Big Wang Theory using his ulti to get that knock up. Another slow and easy as you please takes him down. Now Prophet's looking to do a bit of a jungle in um, a jungle invade but the Wisp spots him and so they head on down to take the first dragon of the evening at 7 minutes. Alright just watching top I was going to see if uh, King of Poros was going to go and help his tower. He decides not to. That's an interesting crisis. Wouldn't you thought the jungler would have rolled up then and given a bit of support to the vacant top lane? Or not need it? Well, the question is what you would hope to achieve out of it because the, the trade-off that you're getting is you're revealing where the jungler is and you're yep. revealing that he's far away from the other yep. two lanes. And he's going to come through the uh, river now right up behind Luke in the back door coming through. Can he get to him? Luke flashes away. Luke might just have enough to pull out of this crisis. Yeah, he'll be very, very low at the moment on mana and is not keen to go in for the chase onto Luke. So, well, that was unfortunately a missed opportunity. So just a little bit yep. of a drive-by by the Skarner, more than yep. anything else. Just let him know he's hanging around. Yeah, back off my hillbilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skarner, speaking of Skarner, King of Poro is picking up his blue buff. Not going to give it away to hillbilly, which is a bit odd. Uh, we were just talking about hillbilly having problems with mana. And uh, not going to get a blue buff. No, but what we are going to see is potentially um, King of Poros coming down into the bottom lane here again, joining his two teammates. Yeah, we got a TP this time though from Big Wang Theory. Sorry. Oh, it's a three on three. Where did Big Wang Theory come from? Yeah, he TP'd in. So comes in and turns things around straight away. Oh, King of Poros gets out. There's a double kill now onto the Jinx. Vatiscal finally arrives, but it's kind of too little, too, too late. late. Swallows late. a glacial fissure. Flash from the Prophet. And the Big Wang Theory is once again the benefactor of that little engage. And Picks up yet tower. another kill. So that's going to be a turret as well. Yeah. Nice play by Big Wang Theory then joining the battle at the right time. Yeah, Batterskull just a little bit too slow. I didn't actually see whether his TP was not actually up at that stage. But that might have been why he was a little bit too late to actually join in. But they take the tower down. Very pleased with that, I'm sure. And now the focus of Jinx and the bottom laner, uh, his uh, I Tiberius, his support, will probably be to shift over to the mid lane. The uh, bigger items are starting to come in. The BF swords on the field. Shit just got real. Hillbilly with a nice little response. Every time Luke dashes in to get some damage on, Hillbilly's just uh, freezing him in stasis and preventing any damage uh, from coming through. Nicely done. So anticipating a transition to the mid lane by the bottom lane. So Prosaurus Rex has a Prosaurus Rex has arrived in the mid lane to support Hillbilly, and that's just as well because I Tiberius is hanging down 
in the mid lane brushes. Looking for their transition, EJ? Yeah, no, he's pushing in. Very aggressive play here. I think they're trying to join, uh, draw King of Poros down into the into the river. It doesn't matter. They're going to take him on right here at the Tarrant. King of Poros wiped out. Luke and the team coming through. Luke's going to try and escape here. He's on bugger all health though, Crisis. Yeah, his, uh, his early item, uh, the Hex Drinker, Prox, and that's just enough to keep him alive long enough to be able to survive. The Prophet gets uh, caught underneath the turret though, takes a huge amount of damage from that turret, but again, manages to get away. Yeah, 9-3 is the kill scoreline now in favour of the uh, Raccoon Kings. 11 minutes, and the Coon Kings, after a little bit of an early stumble, EJ, are right back in the lead. Expecting back in the... They, well, people were predicting them pretty hard that they were going to go well. So... Uh, they're showing that. They went well last week as well. They've got to be one of the form teams. We're about to lose another turret here. Hillbilly levels up. So, uh... Hamco banning people for bad manners. <laughs> <laughs> Which is abuse of power, I might just say. <laughs> abuse of power is what the big wang theory is doing to Batiscale right now, right up under his turret. He's on top of him, laying in. Yeah, he's going to take down this turret and straight away uh, change yeah, his... Yeah, uh, down. Yeah, the slow goes down onto Batiscale. Oh, here right. comes the Prophet in to help out. Oh, oh nice gets the flash. Ah, oh, Tiberius is in from the other side. Oh, they smashed him. Wow, that was four champions up in their top lane making yeah, sure that Garen went down. Yeah, that's how scared they are at Batiscale, dude. They have to send four to take him out. <laughs> He's too strong one-on-one. -on -one. Not even Hamco could take him one-on-one. -on -one. Luke might Although be in Phil a little Billy's bit up of trouble. taking on Luke at the moment. Poon's with them. King of Poros in under the tower. Going to go down under the tower as well. And Hillbilly, I think, is going to follow suit. Yeah, Bam. he's uh, turned into a, a woodland creature. And off he goes. And that is absolute domination in that top lane. We've got the one turret go down, and about, what, 45 seconds later, they get the second tier turret straight away. All five players here, and they're actually looking to move the push. Oh, for a moment there, I thought they were going to move the push onto the inhibitor turret. But they've decided, no, they're going to pull out and move on from there. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, Augustus Prime has been trying to catch up or trying to get a CS lead. He's done quite well. He's got 20 yeah, yeah, he's CS forward. on the Jinx. So, yep. doing quite well. Not so, not bad at all. No, but the uh, team are starting to play quite defensively now, the Poros team. Yeah. Well, they have to. They've been pushed up back into their base in all... Oh, totally, dude. Totally. I mean, Augustus Prime's already got um, Pizza Hut on the phone. He's already ordered. He's predicting when the game's finishing. <laughs> Just as well it's Pizza Hut because they will take about half an hour, right? I have no idea, but we should get free pizza for mention in the air. Go yeah, pizza. we should do. We should do. Hillbilly running for his life. He's got a couple of. Yeah, rocks. he's got some backup though coming out of the jungle here. Yeah, Vayne has arrived. This is the first fight that Vayne's actually been in and is going in onto the Big Wang Theory, but gets, uh, well, dashes here away. Here comes really. Luke to back up the end. The King of Poros. Struggling to get away. Elise has got the chase on. Oh, but snap. down comes an exhaust. Luke is there, though, to finish things off. Gets uh, Augustus Prime can't escape at the bottom. Well, oh, he's uh, kind of surrounded. Batterskull, the last man standing, uh, gets himself frozen as well. Last man not standing. And then gets taken down. So, bad luck. So, frenetic exchange uh, of kills there. And oh, in the end, it is that. a three for one. Oh, and here goes another one. He'll kill don't worry about standing near your tower, buddy. Just pull your pants down and take it like a man. Luke doing a fantastic Big job. Style, Christ. Front Big line, Willie. <laughs> it's a Big Wang Theory show. That's what it is. Is it? I don't know. Well, Luke's doing pretty well as well. He's got four kills. Oh, Who's doing true. better? No, no. I thought Luke was doing. I thought Luke was doing pretty well. Although he was MVP last week, we can't give. Yeah, him no. Much, he can't be an MVP sucker. Well, I mean, we. I. I would be inclined to, but he hasn't posted the photograph. Of the MVP card. Maybe he hasn't got it yet. Surely he has. The, the, the New Zealand Post, I checked, they delivered to his address on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Wow. So he must have it. Uh, what we do have, though, is some action happening around the um, mid jungle here. 
Going in for the blue buff, we're going to steal their buff from the uh, boys in the uh, poorest team. Yeah, and it's kind of a sign of a team that's really dominating, is how they can position themselves around uh, the secondary kind of oh, objective. Luke goes in, gets a really stun down onto King of Poros. Ouch! And down he goes. Poon gets an unstoppable, so doing a great job as the ADC with the cleanup duties. The Prophet flashes forward and misses his stun despite that. Night Tiberius might be in a little bit of trouble. There you go. He goes down. Oh, Augustus Prime spin picks up the kill. It's now Poon versus Augustus Prime. Poon's excited as uh, he tries to get away. The stun comes down from the Ooh. Prophet and that is enough to hand. Well, it's a double kill to Elise, but Poon uh, is doing very, very well. 7, 1, and 6 at the moment, DJ. Uh, another dragon. Well, they've decided no dragons needed, looks like. No, uh, they're coming in. Oh, Luke's okay, going to so. go and smack it in the head. Okay. Prophet's here hitting it as well. Luke might actually die to it if he's not careful. Yeah, he's got to get out of the way. I think I think the Prophet will be able to tank this. Uh, no problem. Uh, he's got big violence. wang coming in. When you've got a big wang, you don't need much else. There you go, takes it down, Dragon number 2, 16 minute mark. And things looking very, very good at the moment for the Coon Kings. Yes, the Raccoon Kings racking up another win, it looks like, here in the VEC competition. 21 um, and 6. Look at that gold lead at 16 minutes, 10,000 uh, gold. Wouldn't you like to have 10,000 gold in your pocket right now, EJ? Yeah, I would, actually. Yeah, be good. Uh, Hamco, though, stepping up in the next match here, which will be called by Crisis and Poon. Um, the bar has been set very high tonight with the standard of play from the Raccoon Kings. Yeah, that's going to be HKC versus... Someone else? Flaccid. Um, they're called... Fla <laughs> Flaccid? Lord Jumpy's not playing. They're, they're called Flaccid something. Uh, Flaccid. One Flaccid moment, please. Lord Jumpies. Team Flaccid. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, they weren't talking about Lord Jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> so Batterskull's gotten himself caught again. The stun comes from Luke. Uh, Batterskull had his flash up and tries to get away. Does some nice little juking there. Yeah, it's a nice little side ult, step. But unfortunately, not enough. Uh, oh, in goes Hillbilly, captures Luke. And oh, the King nice of Poros comes in, gets the stasis down onto Luke as well. Can he get away, though? The shields are just oh, the MVP this at this stage. Trapped. Could you believe that Luke was going to survive that? And in fact, he did. Nice little long-range rocket there. Prosaurus doesn't quite go down uh, from the rockets in the backside, but Luke was there to do the cleanup and takes him down. So that's 26 and 6, nearing the 18-minute mark, and the first inhibitor turret under attack. In fact, two inhibitor turrets under attack because Elise is split pushing. I think I'll be having butter chicken sooner rather than later at this rate crisis. Oh, a bit of butter chicken. Nom, nom, nom. I'll probably have a cook just in time for the second game. Nice one. Yeah. So that's the Nothing first better inhibitor down. Night, dude, than League of Legends on GameStar TV 2 and some butter chicken. You could do a lot worse. So it looks to me like the Coon Kings are looking to close out this game. So they they've got one inhibitor down. And they've decided to shift down. Augustus Prime gets the stun down onto Poon. Just manages to make it onto the summoner pool to get himself back up to full HP. And that is enough, though, uh, to get themselves a brief stay of execution. But the Coon Very King's sticking stay around. Of execution. Coon King sticking around, EJ. They want to take down the Nexus turret. Oh, totally. They're just letting their auto heal, back them up a little bit, all they need to do, and they'll uh, wait for the wave to come through of minions, and it'll be on. So and Poon, that wave's not far away. They're just coming into the base now in the top lane. Nothing else pushing, though, in any of the other lanes, so they don't really have much else to do um, at this stage. But here we go now. They're moving down into the center of the, uh, of the base, and... What this, is, what this does is it stops the minions from pushing those other lanes. And so the mid lane, at the very least, is now going to start slow pushing. Meanwhile, uh, at this Nexus turret, EJ, a little bit more action, but they're Yeah, a little bit of action, but, um, you know, a bit of spin and, um, you know, hit and miss by Batterskull comes in and pushes them off. But, oh, you know, King of Poros the... wants to create oh, something. Poon like. is the focus. Everything going down onto Poon at the moment. Augustus Prime looks to pick up the kill. A double kill, though, to Luke oh, in the meantime. So even though there's a shutdown, a triple kill now on Luke. And ace. that is an ace. 
just in time for the super minions to arrive at yep. this top turret. Luke's and they're going to take down Snix's turret, DJ. Jinx picks up a fan phantom dancer just for um, something to do. And Jinx crying, dude, crying that his pentakills are being stolen. Oh, what? What? Yeah. Well, quick well, he knows if you had two, two turrets pentacles, down. You might have been in the run for an MVP, but you can't get an MVP when you work for the commentary organization because that's like just super biased. And anyway, you know, has he has Ooh. he has he really been an MVP tonight? Well, no, nine, two, and twelve. That's not that good. <laughs> Double figure assists on the Jinx. Nicely done. It's going to be hard to pick an MVP. I think Braum's gone pretty well. You don't think uh, the Big Wang Theory? Um, With that beautiful TP down into the bottom lane that took you by surprise? Yeah, true. That was quite quite impressive. But having said that, um, Mr. Midlane is going quite well. Luke. Luke, yeah. I, the Twitch chat said it was a textbook TP bottom lane, and I agree yeah, with so that. So if it was textbook, I mean, that's nothing special then. That's like you're supposed to do it. <laughs> you know, if he hadn't have done it, we'd be bagging him out. This is true, this is true. Kind of like we did with Batterskull. Well, it's Batterskull. That's it. Nelson W is putting a vote in for Luke in the mid lane. Yeah, Riven gets it. Oh, Lord Jumpy, though. He likes a bit of Lulu. Hamco thinks Poon. Mm, I don't know about Poon. So we got two inhibitors down, EJ. We've got one more Heavy that push is the bottom about lane to get a little bit of attention. And this is the way you do it, ladies and gentlemen. You... Get your super minions coming through in... What's this? There's a TP <laughs> coming in from Garen onto that bottom lane turret. Garen arrives! Yeah! Save the day. Spin to win. Jump in. Let's go. To Marcia. Luke does a little hop, skip and a jump through the gate there, over the gate. And he's going in for the engage. He's gotten himself stunned. That's probably a wise move. But he's somehow oh, managing he's to survive. Habit, Not even the judgment that comes down on him. Get to take on it out. Oh, he's rushing through. There's the flash. He's going to go in. Gets a quadra kill. Is he going to get... They're all helping him. They want to help him. Oh, my God. He goes taken down. No, <laughs> fail. No. <laughs> No, he tried hard, though. He did. He tried. He, did. he tried I, hard. I you think know, if you gave out awards for trying hard, Poon would be a gold medalist. Goodness me. Well, there the Nexus goes yeah, down there. What a kill for Poon. But a Penta was not to be too bad. He did manage to take the lead on the kills, though, with 13. 13, 3, and 13. That's pretty good. That that's, is pretty good. That's like one of that's those... That's almost MVP good. Almost is... MVP good. Almost, but not quite. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Coon Kings managed to take themselves, uh, pick up so another kill. Who was the MVP? What's that? Who was the MVP? Well, that's a very good question. Look at the Big Wang Theory's magnificent score. 6, 0, oh, and 20. Okay. Luke in the mid lane with 11, 2, and 13. Yep. And Poon with 13, 3, and 13. So across the board, they all did really, really well. But who was it that had the biggest impact on the game? Big Wang Theory. You reckon? All right. Yeah. The Big Wang Theory, you've got to hit up me in game here and give me your name and your address so that I can send you the MVP card. Congratulations. Big Wang Woo! And congratulations to both of these teams. A fantastic yep. result yeah, yeah. from the pair of them. And we will be back in just a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen, with game, two, game number two, which is going to be... Which is clearly going to be the highlight game, because we've doubled our audience pre-leading into that game. So Woo! they know Hamco's playing, the audience has doubled, they're here to see some uh, shit-hot action. HKC versus Team Flaccid, coming Get right up, ladies and gentlemen, here on Gamestar TV 2. This is Crisis, and EJ, signing out.